I'm doing them words. Yo, peace, peace. What's going on, everybody? It is day two, third. Out of 365 daily vlogs Right now I just got home from the gym Cooking a little food Because I don't got nothing yet So I need some eat Right now I'm cooking some boneless chicken thighs I seasoned it with garlic powder Onion powder Jerk seasoning uh, A little bit of cumin Black powder Black powder Black pepper And uh, a little bit of salt So yeah I'm about to eat good Aside from that Today we're gonna have a little painting session. We're gonna talk, reflect, and then we're gonna close out. Hopefully you can stay for the rest of the video. I want you to share your thoughts and your opinions on today's topic. And uh, after I finish this, I'm gonna head in the other room and start painting. So let's get it. I'm on, I don't even know how I'm gonna make it. Uh, fuck it. I don't even know why I'm trying to record. Lord. A nice little two mile, two and a half mile run. I don't know why I was trying to record earlier. I'm talking about, Ugh. <laughs> but yeah, <sighs> Lord Jesus, man, I can't wait to smack this chicken, bro. I figured I'm gonna cook this. I looked at it. I seen all the grease. I seen all the the oils from it. I was like, mm, before I eat this, let me go burn some fat. Maybe I'll even it out. Cause today was supposed to be a rest day. And I ended up going to the gym anyway, for like 30 minutes. After that, I came home and I cooked. Y'all seen that beginning of the, uh, the video. And then now I'm jogging to finish up my activities for the day. Ooh boy. <sighs> but I ain't gonna hold you. These uh evening, these evening jogs, Man, I don't know. They doing something to me, man. Like, physically, I'm burning a lot of fat. Every time I flex, I'm seeing more definition in my body. But also spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. Y'all probably like, Ruben, you say this shit every fucking time. But for real, for real. Like, I, I feel it. And I see it working. Right now. Present moment. So if you've been thinking about even going for... Oh, shit, my bad. If you've been thinking about even going for an evening stroll... Well, it don't gotta be a jog. It don't gotta be a run. Do it. I promise you, you'll get there. Cause that's how I started. I started with just walking. You know, walking. And I started jogging a little bit. But eventually you'll start picking up speed cause shit just becomes easy for you. That's the thing about routines and repetitions, right? You create a routine, you keep it going over and over and over again. My bad. And get your reps in. Eventually, you're gonna, you're gonna have to go up and wait, go up in time, go up in speed. Because you want a challenge. Well, if you're like me, you're gonna want a challenge. You're gonna want to feel like, damn, all right, this is a little hard. Let me put it in a little bit more effort, you know? But, all right, that's my spiel. I'm about to walk in, shower, and then I'm gonna go hit this uh, canvas. Cause I haven't painted in a few days and I don't feel good about that. <sighs> Let's get it. Ah, <sighs> man. So right now I got some brown rice with some salad. In the salad, it's spinach, orange peppers, onions, feta cheese, ranch, salt, vinegar, and a little bit of oil. And I mistakenly put a little bit of adobo thinking it was salt. I have boneless chicken thighs. I mentioned that in uh, brown rice. And I'm going to give it a little taste test real quick. Oh, man. The salad is good. Not as good as I would like. The rice, of course, is banging. I'm Dominican. We make the best rice. This chicken right here. Yeah. 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 Yep. That's it. All right, let me eat in peace, y'all. All right, all right. Okay. We're here now. We're here now. So this is a painting that I've been kind of working on as of lately. It started off just like the... It was just red. Then I tried to do a Philip with Stone study. 
Then all of a sudden, I got here. No fucking idea how I got here. But um, it's pretty interesting. I don't know if you can see it. This is the gun. At first, it was just the guy holding the gun. And then I tried to do like the little trigger thing in the back of the gun. And then all of a sudden, it turned into a hand. Like a hand coming out of the side of the canvas, pulling the gun this way. And then there's smoke coming out of the gun. Like, I don't even know what my mind is trying to do or show me, but uh, yeah, it's kind of, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting when you just paint and have like no direction and you allow your feelings and your mind to guide you and you allow your heart to show your eyes something on the canvas, if that makes sense. But um, right now I'm about to use burnt sienna I'm probably gonna start coloring, I said coloring, painting this hand specifically. I'm gonna use titanium white. I don't know, something is telling me to use cadmium yellow light and we'll start there for now. Um, I'm using this Princeton brush, it's a round brush is a number six. I don't know shit about shit, honestly, if I'm being real. I've been, <laughs> I think this is the one I need to use. Uh, so we're gonna go with it. Oh, there's already some, I got some of this liquid in here. All right, we're gonna start with dark. We're just gonna use the burnt sienna straight. I dipped it in paint thinner. Um, so it could be a little bit more fluid and so I can have a better, like, I guess, more control of how I want it to look like. I'm using this one. I put a little bit of titanium white on it so I can start, like, seeing, I guess, the difference or something. I don't know. But um, one thing I was thinking about yesterday, or even today, I think it was today, honestly, is that I was like, yo, I had set... I had said something earlier, I was like, man, I felt bad about, you know, not being able to paint these last few days and stuff like that. And then I had to tell myself like, yo, even when I'm not painting, I'm painting, like I'm in life, I'm experiencing this experience. And even if I'm not painting on a canvas, I'm like still painting, right? Cause what I, experience out there in the world and the conversations that I have and the things that I see and you know the things that I consume always come out on the canvas you know what I'm saying and I don't know when I had that thought and I sat with it it kind of shifted my perspective on those days it shifted my perspective on like how I view when I'm not painting, you know? Like, I'm like, okay, I'm still getting, I guess, inspiration. We want, if, if, that, if that's what we wanna say. I don't know if that makes sense, y'all. But I guess, well, I guess what I'm trying to say is like, okay, if you're a painter and, you know, you go a few weeks, a few days, months, maybe even years without painting, just know that it's not going to waste. Okay, you're still gathering material. You're still gathering information. You're still gathering a uh, technique. You're still gathering, uh, you know, design language that you could apply here. You're still gathering things and you're storing it in your mind, in your heart, somewhere in your subconscious. And all of that will come out on the canvas the next time you paint. So it's not like you're not painting. You're just researching. You're 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 uh you're on a, you're on a mission <laughs> i hope that makes sense for real for real because i feel like you know painters are really critical of themselves and and their art when they're not in action of it but just because you're not like physically in action of painting doesn't mean that like you're not doing it you know you're still painting it's just not, you're not painting in a, in, a, in a way you're familiar with. Does that make sense? 
I hope it makes sense to y'all because it makes sense to me and it and it it allows me to give me grace as an artist it allows me to give me grace as a creative it just allows me to give me grace as a human you know because we need it artists need grace artists deserve artists do deserve grace like because there's some of us I wouldn't say all because some people are just really technical with this shit there's some of us who really paint from a really emotional space and it's taxing. Let's be real, it's taxing. It's extremely taxing to paint from like pain and suffering and heartbreak and confusion and like having that be the driving force to, let me see if my mic is on. Having that be the driving force, you know? Like for me, it's my driving force. I can't do nothing about it, right? That's how I started painting, and that's probably how I will paint for the rest of my life. But it doesn't mean I need to be a slave to this spot right here. I think having that thought that I shared earlier freed me from, from that. Like, art is a lifelong thing. If you just, if you're painting to get famous, if you're painting to make millions, like, cool, do you, but this shit will never go away. If you're artists, once you decide you're an artist, you're an artist for life and nothing and no one can take that away from you. Even if you do stop painting for 10 years, 15 years, six months, two weeks, one day, doesn't matter. The, the, the day you decided, yo, I love art and I'm gonna consider myself an artist is the day you became an artist, all right? And don't let anything and anyone, don't even let yourself take that away from you. Cause I feel like I was trying to take that away from me because I'm like, damn, I, I'm not a real artist. Yo, uh, this and that, blah, say, blah. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm still a real artist. And there's nothing in this world that could take that away from me. I don't care what anybody thinks or says about my art. Not even me. Not even me. Dead ass. And I hope that you're ready. But, you know, hopefully, hopefully I made sense. I, I genuinely mean that. And like, I really meant what I say. I genuinely meant what I said from the bottom of my heart. Like, I really do think that artists deserve grace. And I think for the most part, a lot of us are like we're extremely hard on ourselves when it comes to to this stuff. I understand being passionate and I understand, you know, like discipline. And I'm not saying don't push yourself. I think we should all push ourselves. I think we should all try our best. But, yo, if you can't, you can't. Maybe you need to be resting. Maybe you don't need to be painting right now. Maybe your brain and your spirit needs to download something but you're too busy stressing yourself out because oh I'm not painting right now man I can't paint I'm not I'm not doing what I what I like I get it trust me trust me daddy I get it but don't beat yourself up son You know, don't beat yourself up. Take it easy, kid. Be easy on yourself. I feel like I'm messing it up right now. Yeah, I definitely messed this shit up. I think I'm gonna stop here. If uh, you're an artist with actual technique and have been to art school, please hit my line. Um, I would highly appreciate it. I got some questions on how I could draw, paint better hands. That's always been my biggest challenge, like many of us. But thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully you like this video, like the message that was said, and please drop a comment in the comment section and remember to subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow for day 214.
Peace.